it, it's very different from any other marketplace anywhere in the world in that the revenue gen, um, uh, for the, the revenue um, here is lopsided so overwhelmingly on the side of advertising that um, uh, I believe there's a potential for broadcasters to uh, transform their business model if the overall industry moves away from some practices that have held the revenue opportunity back, namely price controls and under declaration. We are around the world more concentrated on improving the ratings of every one of the channels that we have because we have 350 television channels all around the world, uh, nine of them here in India, and we believe there's still a lot of opportunity in both increasing distribution as well as rating in the, with the channels that we already have. I'm fully supportive. Uh, I, I believe that digitization is, is something that helps the consumer, helps the industry, and uh, overall head, helps the, the tax collection as well. And, uh, and in, in every single market where we have seen digitization, either mandated or industry um, um, directed, it's, we've seen over time consumers that are happier with the product, an industry that is more transparent and, and where uh, all the players are better served. Of course, that demand investment, but we have found that around the world, those investments are uh, paid back um, in, in, with increased revenues. What I truly believe, uh, I, I said that um, it's confounding that India has so much strength in, in creating intellectual property, uh, not only in the traditional um, um, uh, fields of uh, pharma and software, but also in uh, creating intellectual property, in movies, advertising, special effects. India is, uh, has a domestic uh, market that is booming is also a correspondent and winner of international awards. So it's uh, very um, puzzling that it doesn't export formats of um, or finished product uh, to the, the extent that smaller, much smaller countries like Colombia do. And so, and that's the example that I gave in, in my speech. And uh, I believe that it is uh, primarily due to the, um, the, the limits that are put on the revenue opportunity uh, here in, in India that essentially distort incentives to uh, invest in content. We don't break out numbers, uh, unfortunately, on a country by country basis, but I believe that India will continue to be one of the largest markets for um, FIC and News Corporation as a whole. And, um, and that's, um, as I said in my presentation today, uh, we're holding the board of directors meeting for the National Geographic Channels here in India, in Mumbai. First time it's ever been held outside of Washington or London. That's something to be decided by each government. In, in many countries around the world, uh, governments, uh, what they have tried to do is uh, to give the right incentive, creating the right incentives so that the industry by itself would go as far as possible in digitization and then with the last few consumers that the industry uh, didn't, uh, didn't get around to serve, then the government sometimes stepped in and created coupons or created subsidies to help them to the digitization. That's what happened in the U.S., for instance. Um, and, uh, and, and I believe the role that the broadcasters have is a role of informing and creating awareness of how much better the experience is with television that's digital than analog and why the consumers uh, should uh, welcome the migration to digital.